when to use the different GPC, SCC analysis methods. The OmniSec software offers a variety of analysis methods or calibration types to help you get the most out of your data. These options include advanced detection or triple detection, which indicates the use of a light scattering detector, and the column calibration options, universal calibration and conventional calibration. Depending on your instrument, sample type, or data of interest, you may find that different analysis methods are ideal for different samples. This video will provide information on when it would be appropriate to use each analysis method. We'll start with advanced or triple detection. As mentioned earlier, this method refers to molecular weight calculation with a light scattering detector. Therefore, the minimum configuration includes both a concentration and a light scattering detector. A viscometer detector is commonly added, hence the name triple detection, but is not required for absolute molecular weight determination. Another triple detection variation, one frequently used for protein analyses, employs both RI and UV detectors alongside a light scattering detector. As a result of using more detectors, advanced or triple detection offers the most data per injection. Available parameters include absolute molecular weight moments, as well as dispersity, intrinsic viscosity, hydrodynamic radius, Marcuing parameters, concentration, and recovery, and potentially branching in compositional analysis. All of that from a single injection. So advanced or triple detection should be your default analysis method. It offers the most data with greater accuracy and less work than the column calibration methods. It is the only way to get correct results for samples with unique nonlinear structures. If you use a column calibration method for these analyses, the results can be dependent on how similar the structure of your standards is to the structure of your samples. This can lead to significant potential for error. The following methods are only recommended when advanced or triple detection is unavailable or not appropriate for your samples. So next, let's move to universal calibration. A combination of a concentration detector and a viscometer detector is required for universal calibration. The presence of a viscometer detector accounts for differences in molecular structure and allows standards of different types to follow along a single, universal calibration curve. The data available with universal calibration is a bit different than that obtained with the advanced or triple detection method with a light scattering detector. The molecular weight moments are not absolute because they still rely on a calibration curve and are referred to as true or accurate. Intrinsic viscosity, hydrodynamic radius, and branching information can be obtained because of the presence of the viscometer, but the quality of the data still relies on your standards. Universal calibration is often used in one of two situations. To upgrade from a single detector conventional calibration method, or because data from a light scattering detector is unavailable or unreliable. Light scattering data can be unreliable for a few reasons. The light scattering response could be weak due to the sample's low molecular weight or low DNDC value. Universal calibration can be used as an alternative as long as there is sufficient viscometer data. Additionally, samples that fluoresce distort the light scattering response, typically in the positive direction. If you're working with a conjugated material and using light scattering to calculate molecular weight values that seem way too high, this could be the reason. Universal calibration can serve as a nice alternative in these situations. Last, we'll look at conventional calibration. Conventional calibration is the simplest analysis method, and as such, it utilizes a single concentration detector. Typically, a refractive index detector is used, but UV or another concentration detector will work as long as it responds to your standards and samples. The data available from conventional calibration are limited to molecular weight moments. Since these are calculated based on the calibration curve, they're described as relative molecular weight values. Their accuracy depends on how structurally similar your sample is to your standards. When using conventional calibration, you often don't know what you're missing, as you are only observing your sample from the perspective of a single detector. While limited in its capabilities, Conventional calibration can be a useful analysis method if you only have access to the single concentration detector. It is also valuable if all you need are relative molecular weight values. If you're comparing samples of the same type, only interested in the sample's distribution, have no need for structural information, 
or are looking for an economical method to analyze your samples, then conventional calibration can work for you. So to recap, advanced or triple detection with light scattering offers the most accurate results and you should use it whenever possible. Universal calibration is a nice upgrade from conventional calibration and a convenient alternative when light scattering is unavailable. And conventional calibration offers the least amount of data but is the most accessible analysis method and a great choice in the absence of light scattering and viscometer detectors. If you have questions or would like more information, please contact us at malvernpanalytical.com. Thank you.